Hello Megalithomaniacs, today we've got an exclusive for you straight from Sardinia. My good friends Ariana and Enrico who are expert tour guides, archaeoastronomers and explorers have sent me some footage of a remarkable Domus de Janus or fairy house like a hypogeum cave which has been known about for about kind of 15 or 20 years and only a few photos ever emerged of it because it was covered over, cemented up, and stones and earth were placed over it to block it up because it had some remarkable red ochre and blue paint and checkered kind of artwork throughout the actual hypogeum caves themselves. Now, Ariane and Enrico were able to go to an opening, a one day opening, which is a unique thing it happened just a few days ago and they got inside two or three of the chambers which i think there were about seven in total and basically got access for the first time in decades so this really is an exclusive here for megalithomania it's a site near Bonorva. it's near san andreas priya which is a famous site which has got amazing hypogeum caves as well as a carved 3d bull on top of the cliff and this is in the general area but this is on private land so delighted to share this with you and i thank enrico and ariana who is hosting this particular particular video. Hi you, hi megalithomaniacs. Here I am today in Bonorva on the beautiful island of Sardinia, famous for its megalithic uh, culture that developed uh, a long uh, stretch of time. And uh, tonight I'm here uh, because there is a very special opening to see three Domus de Janus. Domus de Janus were um, tombs carved in the rocks and they were carved in a period in between 4500 BC and 3500 BC. So very, very old back in time. And these are very special because uh, they are um, with lots of spirals carved inside and lots of other symbols. Uh, a very special one is the symbol of the head of a bull uh, with horns and uh, with a sort of cosmic tree from which um, lots of spirals uh, start. Um, so it's really very special. Uh, in some of these uh, tombs there are seeds and there are earths um, to represent uh, fire. Fire is a symbol of life and in this respect of course it's the symbol of life uh, going on uh, after death. So life goes on and uh, uh, the representation of fire uh, is a symbol of this life going on. Uh, we are born from a female and in the same way uh, these tombs cut in, in the rocks, so in the womb of Mother Earth, represent that we go back, we are reborn into a celestial dimension. And so life doesn't stop with life here on this planet. That is also why in these tombs uh, often uh, there's still a uh, a red ochre as a symbol of uh, blood. So again, life going on. So the bull is a very important symbol because the bull was so important in Neolithic um, cultures, Neolithic life. Uh, the bull is actually uh, what gives life and represent the strength of life and probably there is also um, a connection with the constellation of the bull because uh, in the area um, in the era sorry in the era uh, when these uh, tombs were cut and carved in the rocks we were in the era the cosmic era of the bull and I would like here to remind you that in this area, the area of Bonorva, uh, which is uh, a valley, it was like the valley of the death 
of Sardinia, uh, we have uh, um, the representation, the sculpture of a bull uh, looking onto the valley and uh, a sort of shamanic symbol, a protection for the dead living in these tombs. Unfortunately, the head of the bull was uh, cut uh, when the Christians arrived in the area, but still we have the body and it's really a spectacular uh, sculpture. As for the spirals, they are symbols of um, the cycles of life and um, in respect uh, with um, uh, circles, the spirals uh, represent a, a sort of evolution because the spiral has a movement and so it really represents the different cycles and different dimensions um, that the soul uh, experiences, life after life. As I was saying, today uh, this was a special opening, but uh, the idea, the planning is to uh, open up to the public, to the visitors, this amazing um, tombs carved in the rocks. And uh, probably in two or three years, they will be able to know to open them up because it is not uh, easy uh, to work here. And um, you see, the rock is really uh, very soft, and so it can be damaged very easily. And as for um, the most famous one with uh, huge uh, spirals in a red ochre and a ceiling still uh, painted in blue, uh, it won't be possible to open it up because uh, it would be really damaged, but uh, the plan is to uh, recreate a reproduction just as uh, it's done, uh, for example, in France at the amazing Grotto Cave of Lascaux. And so uh, stay tuned, megalithomaniacs. Sardinia is waiting for you.